as it gets at the moment. G'day Throttlers, welcome back to the channel. Well today's video is all about the five best motorcycle film or TV shows to keep you entertained and occupied while we're in isolation or lockdown. Now these are just my five favorite, but once you've watched the video, if you've got some other ideas, please leave them in the comments below because I want to check out some more motorcycle films and I'm sure all the other viewers want to check some out too. So. These are my five, but before I start, we've got a very, very quick mail time. Now this mail time has been delivered to me, but with no letter in it and no um, sender information. So if you happen to send this to me, let me know so I can give you a bit of credit. But either way, I really appreciate it. It's, um, it's a nice little package. So I've got a Bell Helmet beer. Cozy, there, that'll go to good use this afternoon when I crack my first beer. Also got a Michelin key ring, right there, and this really nice Bell helmet t-shirt, which I will wear very happily. So if you happen to send this to me guys, please let me know. I'd love to give you a personal thank you for it. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, let's get on with the five, my top five moto films for lockdown. First on my list would have to be Easy Rider. It's probably one of the most iconic motorcycle cult films that have ever been made. Uh, Peter Fonda, um, Dennis Hopper, made in 1969 released here in australia in 1970 and it was just a very abstract almost um uh, hallucinogenic trip from la to new orleans so um so that's probably my number one on the list and as i said one of the most iconic motorcycle films that has ever been made and i'm sure that you've seen it if you haven't seen it check it out but be warned it is a little bit psychedelic a little bit goofy and uh but still uh one of the most iconic films ever made well the second one is not actually a movie but it's a whole bunch of series it's the long way round long way up long way down series from ewan mcgregor and charlie borman now this is where they ride adventure motorcycles um pretty much right across the planet and uh, you can access this, I think, on Netflix still. And um, But there's a whole bunch of different series. There's one in the can at the moment, which is, I think it was a long way up, where they've ridden electric Harleys um, from Australia up that's not released yet. But definitely great entertainment watching these boys adventure across the planet on their big adventure bikes and take us along the journey. Alright, so in 2005, my number three on my list was released. It is the world's fastest Indian. Now, starring Anthony Hopkins, of course, and he, he was representing a bloke called Bert Munro, a New Zealander, that had an old Indian motorcycle that became the world's fastest Indian. Probably one of the most touching motorcycle movies I've ever seen. And uh, if you're an Indian motorcycle lover, you've already seen it, I can guarantee it. But if you haven't seen the, world, the world's fastest Indian, be sure to check it out. Great movie. There are a few teary spots in it though, but, um, but a great movie nonetheless. Bert Munro, absolute legend. Anthony Hopkins, the world's fastest Indian. Right, so number four on my list. If you're from outside of Australia, you've probably never heard of it, but this is a very iconic motorcycle movie in Australia and it was released in 1974 and it's called Stone. 
and essentially what it was um, there was a motorcycle gang called the grave diggers and there was an undercover policeman that went in undercover to the motorcycle gang to try and find out who's been murdering everyone and it was in the era where in Australia and probably right around the world too the Kawasaki Z series bikes were the bikes to have so the Kawasaki Z 900 series and um, it's a, it's an awesome Aussie movie again a little bit quirky um, but had a very very strong cult following and in particular just last year they reenacted the Dewey Hungerford memorial ride and uh, where they got hundreds and hundreds of bikes doing the similar trip that happened in the movie. So, number four, Stone, made in 1974, an Australian film. Uh, if you have access to it, check it out. And in fact, I might try and get a copy of it to be able to watch it again soon too. And the very last one for me to suggest is not a movie it's a tv series in fact it was seven series long is the sons of anarchy now it had a real love hate relationship in the motorcycle community personally i loved it i thought it was a really good series um but i know a lot of motorcyclists absolutely hated it um but either way if you haven't seen it or if you have seen it you should revisit it Remember, there is seven whole series of this show, so depending on how long we're in lockdown for, or isolation, there's plenty of footage there for you to go through and, uh, and reminisce and check out The Sons of Anarchy as well. Look guys, that's it for me today. Um, just a quick video I needed to put up um, for this week, but if you have some more recommendations of motorcycle-based films or TV shows, Drop a comment in the comments below. Um, share it with everyone so if we're not aware of it, we can check it out as well. And I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all healthy. And until the next video, folks, throttle on and I'll talk to you soon.